impressed. Okay, we've all been there. You're mid-edit, everything's flowing, and then there's a gap. There's no footage, no cutaway, no way to finish your story. Now, normally you dig through stock libraries, say schedule another shoot, or just settle for, say, a placeholder clip. But now, there is a fourth option. Adobe Firefly's AI video generator that can literally create B-roll that you need, and all in seconds. And I've partnered with Adobe to tell you all about it. And that is what we are going to be going through today. I am so excited to share it with you. And here's the part that'll make technical folks or devs or anyone really that you can lean into. You can access the industry's top AI models all in one place. So whether you choose Adobe Firefly's own Diffusion Backbone or say a partner model that's tuned for cinematic realism or a stylized motion, you pick the best model for the job. Now this is a glimpse of how Gen AI is rewiring the entire video pipeline. So why does B-roll with AI matter, first of all? Well, B-roll is the invisible glue, if you will, to editing. I mean, it smooths transitions, add, adds context, and sets the mood. Even without it, even the strongest A-roll feels unfinished nowadays. But getting great B-roll takes time. I mean, budget, travel, and sometimes the shoot just doesn't even, can't exist. And that is where Firefly's AI video generator changes everything. You can type what you need, let's say slow motion rain on glass at dusk, that's very specific. And Firefly will generate it. It's like autocomplete for your timeline, but instead of predicting words, it will predict pixels. And the result is faster workflows, fewer bottlenecks, and way more creative freedom. So let's talk about a little bit about how Adobe Firefly works. I mean, how is it actually able to do this? So let's go under the hood. When you enter a prompt, Firefly will then tokenize your text. So basically breaks down the sentence into numerical vectors that capture meaning. Those embeddings feed into a diffusion model. And it really starts from pure noise, if you will. It refines each frame step by step until it matches your description. That's why motion looks really natural and the model can actually learn how objects should move or evolve frame to frame. Then comes enhanced prompt. This is one of my favorite features. So this automatically expands your idea into a richer cinematic description. When I click on enhanced prompt, I'm always blown away by how detailed it is. You can kind of think of it like a prompt compiler that will enrich the token space before the next generation. Next is model choice. Firefly gives you multiple AI models, including partner ones, each tuned for a different creative domain. This really allows you to choose the model the same way, say, developers or technical folks pick, say, checkpoints for a specific task. And finally, the parameters. Style, mood control, they control the visual tone. All right, that is enough of me, enough of theory, enough of technical theory. I know, I know we love to kind of understand how things work. Let's now see this in action. I'm gonna use Adobe Firefly's AI video generator to make three different clips. One, I want it to be simple and realistic. One, I want it to be cinematic. And one that's totally impossible to capture in real life. I think that'd be really fun. All right, let's go do it. Okay, you can see now we are in Adobe Firefly and we are going to start by doing text to video. So let's go here, select text to video, get started. And okay, we're gonna do something. So obviously being in tech, making a lot of tech videos, there, there's B-roll, you know, technical B-roll I wanna do or, or more around the tech side. So let's do something hands typing on a keyboard see what happens with that. That is a difficult one because AI generating hands, as we know, is more of a challenge. So let's see how it does. Let's start by leaving everything as is. The general settings, uh, the motion, the style. Let's just see what it comes up with with a very, very simple prompt. And then we'll go from there. Okay, we are checking this out first time together. Let's see. It's so good, I'm so impressed. That's impressive. Hands, close up of hands. You know how difficult it is for AI to generate hands. And these, this is the detail. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you can see it's kind of, what is the word? Soft in the background, if you will. It's, it's incredible. All right, let's keep on going here. Let's do what I spoke about one of my favorite things is, which is enhanced prompt. So let's just click on enhanced prompt. It will think for a second and look at the detail of this enhanced prompt. It is so much more detailed than I could ever do. I mean, you can go through it, you know, a close up of someone's hands, how they're typing, the background. I mean, it's, it's incredible. So let's 
generate again and see what it does. This is so useful for me because the amount of times we need B-roll and finding unique, authentic B-roll to what you are talking about with the details. Imagine creating a series of these B-roll where it's, you know, different angles or different shots, but it all looks like it's, it's in the same location, same office, for example. That's huge. Okay, here we go. Let's see. This is even better. The detail is incredible. You see what I mean? You can really do a whole storyboard with this, with, okay, now let's take the background part of it here. We can copy and paste that prompt about the background into another prompt and say it's a far, a further away shot, et cetera. Do you know what I mean? Like you can really get into the details here. Now let's play around with some other things here because I'm not sure what we want to commit to yet. Let's do some motion. Let's do zoom out and style. Let's do the style cinematic. Okay, and generate. This will be another way too to have co cohesive or consistency throughout the entire video with this B-roll is by selecting the same motion style, uh, you know, really trying to make it so it feels consistent regardless. Because I think one of the biggest issues I have with B-roll right now is you're trying to tell a story, a full picture, and using static or kind of outdated B-roll, it's like, Okay, there's one random shot here, one random shot there, and it doesn't help tell a story. It kind of almost takes away from it. And to really get your story across by generating B-roll with AI. This is so good. I'm blown away. I'm so pumped about this. Okay, let's clear this now. And I wanna start, I, I mentioned before I wanted to do three prompts. So let's do another one. This is another one where it's a drone shot. So very different than, you know, this first shot of hands close up that we're using. Drone shot over a futuristic skyline at sunrise. Okay, let's see, this is cool. I, I, this, is, this is like my real time, you're getting real time TIFF reactions. I'm just, I get so excited about the possibilities that this brings for storytelling. Quickly though, I wanna do enhanced prompt because I'm just really curious to see how this could even be better. Generate. Okay, let's see. Okay, this reminds me of a futuristic setting that you would see at the beginning of maybe a, a sci-fi movie. This is amazing. Okay, also too, as I mentioned, you can have select different models. So for this one, I am testing and playing around with Firefly video model, but there's other ones as well here you can see, which is great as you know, you want to have a different style to it or see what another model might produce just to get a variety of different things. All right, we need one more prompt here. We need one more prompt. I want to film something or create something that is impossible almost impossible for you know us to create. Let's get creative with it. Glowing data streams weaving through a circuit board like city traffic. I don't know. Using AI to help with these, these type of things, generating different videos, I feel like I always get really creative because you know there are so many possibilities. I would never be able to generate any of these on my own. I, I don't have the resources, I don't have the time, etc. So now being able to do so, you get really creative really quickly. Okay, let's see, I'm very excited about this one. This is so good! Okay, this is my favorite one. This is epic. Glowing data streams weaving through a circuit board. I mean, come on. Think about all the ways you can now tell your stories for educational purposes, marketing purposes, the list goes on. Okay, I hope you enjoyed going through that. I mean, you can literally use Firefly's AI video generator for almost any type of content, from educational videos, create missing cutaways or diagrams, I mean, travel pieces, could definitely go on a trip right now. Generate transitions or shots you couldn't capture. I mean, the list goes on when you think about different marketing, different products, or if you're a business owner, it's really incredible for storytelling and setting that tone, that mood. And it's really not about replacing cameras. What it really is about is removing, as I mentioned earlier, these bottlenecks. So whether you're a one person team or a 20 person team, you can scale, you can focus and keep on moving quickly. I mean, think about, you know, myself as a creator or so many other creators watching this, having that B-roll that doesn't feel static or outdated is kind of hard to come by. And using something like this is a great way to really integrate it naturally into your video. It's kind of like you design the vision and then Firefly will handle the pixels. Prompts are really becoming the new creative interface and I'm, I'm so here for it. I mean, it's a bridge between imagination and the output. 
Okay, so whether you are, you know, fixing up a gap in your video edits, or maybe you're building an entire sequence from scratch, Adobe Firefly's AI video generator will really make creating that B-roll with AI fast, flexible, and it's really cool how it works under the hood. I hope you enjoyed that part of this video too. So you can go try it yourself at firefly.adobe.com today. Because when you really think about the future, especially with editing, it's not about just cutting video, it's about generating it now. All right, speaking of which, we need to see what else I can build.